It's time to play Family Feud. Give it up for Steve. Welcome to Family Feud, everybody. I'm your man, Steve Harvey. We got a good one for you today. Returning for their second day with a total of 20,000 bucks from Manor to Walk, Wisconsin, it's the Blevins family. And from Warner Robins, Georgia, it's the Armstrong family. Everybody's here trying to win theyself a lot of cash and a shot at driving out of here in a park in a brand new stylish Ford Fusion hybrid. Yeah. Hey, I got some money. Let's play to get it. Give me Cheryl. Give me Chris. Hey. Guys, here we go. Top six answers on the board. Name something most men do in the morning that a caveman wouldn't have done. Brush their teeth. Brush their teeth. Sh yeah, Shave. Ahead. Shave. <laughs> yep, they got the right woman for the job. She was having a seizure. <laughs> oh, my. All right, Eddie, how you doing? Hey, Steve, how you doing? What do you do? I'm an aircraft ele ele electrician for uh, one No, that ain't what you said, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> you said you act, act like, like a crack. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know if that was a crack pot or a crack head, <laughs> but you said I act like crack. <laughs> you caught yourself. <laughs> Hey, Eddie, how you doing? How you doing, Steve? How you doing? I'm good, 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 good. Right. Just yes, take sir. your voice down one octave. Right. How you doing? Yeah, that's fine. I'm doing that, 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 Aircraft electrician. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good job. Yes, you sir. You got to be a bright, but they only hire bright people work on yes, aircraft. Yes, sir. 32 years, sir. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Where you work on these planes at, Eddie? <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, you're in good hands. I believe that. Yes, sir. You yes, sir. You're in good hands, sir. All right, you ready to play, Eddie? I'm ready. All right. Name something most men do in the morning that a caveman wouldn't have done. You know, I'm gonna go with taking a shower. They gonna go with taking a shower. <laughs> Anthony, how you doing? I'm doing wonderful, Steve. Future, future attorney, yes. I understand. Yes. yes. What I'm do you do now? You in school? Yes, I just applied to Charlotte School of Law. I just finished the pre-law program last week, so I'm waiting for the admission letter on July 23rd. Yeah. So. Oh, okay, good. All right, Anthony, let's go. Name something most men do in the morning that a caveman wouldn't have done. Brush the hair. Brush their hair. Archie, you ready to play? I'm ready to play. Name something most men do in the morning that a caveman wouldn't have done. Drive to work. <laughs> Drive to work. <laughs> Everett, how you doing? How you doing, Steve? What do you do? I'm a consultant. And I'm an adjunct professor over at Georgia State and the University of Georgia. You're a what professor? Ad adjunct professor. So I teach innovation, leadership, and strategy to executives. Yeah. 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 Well, 
We found the two people in the family that's got sense. <laughs> All right, Everett, let's go. Name something most men do in the morning that a caveman wouldn't have done. Exercise. Exercise! Exercise. Hey, Cheryl. Hello, Steve. How you doing, darling? I'm wonderful, Steve. Good, good, good. What do you do for a living? Steve, I am a chaplain for the state of Georgia for behavioral developmental patients. <laughs> All right, well, let's do it. All right, now, Cheryl, we gotta be careful because you got two strikes. Name something most men do in the morning that a caveman wouldn't have done. Put on clothes. Good answer. Put on clothes! <laughs> All right, Blevins, here we go. Name something most men do in the morning that a caveman wouldn't have done. Uh, we're gonna say use the toilet, Steve. They use the toilet. Question two, give me Eddie, give me Tyler. All right, gentlemen, here we go. We got top six answers on the board. We asked 100 men, name a specific word you'd use to describe a peach and a woman. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, beautiful. Eddie? Sweet. Sweet. Play. <laughs> All right, Anthony, talk to 100 men. Name a specific word you'd use to describe a peach and a woman. Well, I see this a lot in Atlanta, juicy. You're gonna love this one right here, folks. Archie, talk to 100 men. Name a specific word you use to describe a peach and a woman. Tasty! Good answer. Come on, now. Good answer. What I tell you? Good answer. What I tell you? Uncle Archie ain't wasting no damn time. Tasty! <laughs> that was a good answer. All right, Everett. You talk to 100 men, name a specific word you use to describe a peach and a woman. Soft. Soft! Good answer. Soft. 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 All right, Cheryl, only one strike. Talk to 100 men, name a specific word you use to describe a peach and a woman. Red. Well. Yeah. Oh, good Lord, you read. Plum. <laughs> <laughs> red. Plum. All right, Eddie, we got to be careful now. You got two strikes. The Blevins family can steal. I'm going to go with sexy. Got to go with sexy. <laughs> got to get all sexy good answer. Beach. Good answer. I'm in the grocery store and I pick up that peach. I be going, woo! <laughs> Honest, a sexy looking peach right here. <laughs> sexy. <laughs> All right, Blevins family, talk to 100 men. Name a specific word you use to describe a peach and a woman. Uh, we're gonna go with fuzzy. Yeah. She's fuzzy. <laughs> Points. You got a long way to go. We'll be right back, folks. <laughs> Welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. The Blevins family, 117. I'm strong family, not on the board. Give me Anthony, give me Cody.
Point values are double, guys. Here we go. Top six answers on the board. Name something a woman gets when she hits the big time. <laughs> Anthony. The lottery. Money. What? It ain't your turn, Cody. <laughs> we ain't even heard what he had to say. What did you say? I said lottery. He said lottery. <laughs> lottery. Pass or play? Play. Thank you. Everybody ready? <laughs> Archie, name something a woman gets when she hits the big time. New clothing. New yes. clothing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Everett, name something a woman gets when she hits the big time. The ring. Good the answer. ring. Yeah. 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 Cheryl, name something a woman gets when she hits the big time. Fame, Steve. She gets famous. She gets famous. She gets famous. <laughs> Eddie, only one strike. Name something a woman gets wow. when she hits the big time. I'm gonna go with a new, a brand new house or something. Brand new house. All right, family, we gotta slow down a little bit. We got two strikes, you gotta be careful. Now, the Blevins family can steal. Well, I read your book, I'm thinking a new husband. Yeah. <laughs> she gets a new husband. All right, Blevins, name something a woman gets when she hits the big time. We're gonna say plastic surgery. <laughs> plastic surgery? <laughs> Six. Eagle. Four. Eagle. Let's go, folks. We'll be right back. Somebody's gonna win it. Welcome back to Family Field. The champs, the Blevins, 223. Armstrong's not on the board. Give me Archie. Give me Jody. Point values are triple. Top four answers on the board. We asked 100 married men, what attracted you to your wife in the first place? Archie. Intelligence. Intelligence. Personality. Personality. You want to play? We're going to play. All right, John, let's go. 100 married men. What attracted you to your wife in the first place? Her good look, Steve. Her good yeah. look. Chris, 100 men, what attracted you to your wife in the first place? This would never be me, but I'm gonna say her money. Yeah. Her money! <laughs> hey, Todd, 100 men, what attracted you to your wife in the first place? Uh, I'm gonna say her dog. My girlfriend really likes dogs, so I just assumed that yeah. she would already have one, and yeah. I would like that dog. Yeah. Well, listen to this, Tyler. <laughs> See, we asked 100 married men. That's why I'm not See, married. See, we're not marrying you because of your damn dog. <laughs> I can promise you that. We'll leave you because of your dog. <laughs> but we're not marrying you because of your dog. Your dog! <laughs> All right. Now, listen to me, family. We gotta be careful now. We got two strikes. If it's not there, the Armstrong family can steal and have a chance to play sudden death. Well, Steve, I'm gonna have to go with her breasts. Woo. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, Steve. You know That's what I'm a manly saying. answer there. Her breasts! <laughs> Jody, one answer left. If it's there, your family wins the game, Jody. Her job. Good answer. Good answer. For the win, 
Her job. <laughs> all right, Armstrong, here's the deal. There's all right, all right. only one answer left. If it's there, your family steals and gets to play sudden death. If it's not there, the Blevins family wins the game. Cheryl, we talked to 100 married men. What attracted you to your wife in the first place? Her cooking, Steve. Good answer. <laughs> Her cooking. <laughs> Number four. Great fan. Great fan. Great fan. Hey, I need two of you. Let's go. These guys know how to play. We'll be right back. We got Tyler, we got Chris. We're going for $20,000. Come on, fellas, let's go. You ready? Yeah. All right, 20 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. Tell me something that often wakes you in the morning earlier than you want. Alarm. On a scale of one to 10, how well-mannered is today's youth? Six. Name an animal that starts with the letter F. Uh, pass. Name something people drink with dinner. Uh, water. Name a food you like the smell of, just not on someone's breath. Uh, bacon. Name an animal that starts with the letter F. Ferret. Okay, got it, let's go. All right, here we go. Tell me something that often wakes you in the morning earlier than you want. You said, that doggone alarm, you better believe it. Survey says? All right. All right. On a scale of one to 10, how well-mannered is today's youth? You said? Six. Survey said? All right. <laughs> Name an animal that starts with the letter F. You said? That ever-popular ferret. Survey said? All right, that's pretty good. Name something people drink with dinner. You said... Water every day. Survey said... There you go. Name a food you like the smell of, just not on someone's breath. You said... Bacon. Survey said... All right, you got a party. You be okay. Come on, Tyler. Let's go. All right, Tyler. Got a little bit of work to do. But you're the guy. Chris got 63, you need 137. Okay. It's very doable. But you ready? Yep. All right, let's remind everybody Chris's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. Tell me something that often wakes you in the morning earlier than you want. A train. On a scale of one to 10, how well-mannered is today's youth? Four. Name an animal that starts with the letter F. A fox. Name something people drink with dinner. Beer. Name an, a food you like the smell of, just not on someone's breath. Onions. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. That's a good. Let's go. Tell me something that often wakes you in the morning earlier than you want. You said... A train. <laughs> Survey said... Dog. Your dog. Pets. Your dog. Pets. On a scale of 1 to 10, how well-mannered is today's youth? You said... Four, survey said. Five. Five was the number one answer. We need a bunch. Name an animal that starts with the letter F. You said. Fox, survey said. Fox. Fox was the number one answer. Name something people drink with dinner. You said. Beer, survey said. Wine and alcohol was the number one answer. Name a food you like the smell of, just not on someone's breath. You said... Onions. Survey said... Oh. Garlic. Garlic was the number one answer. Well, $5 a point, that's 760 bucks. But they got a two-day total of 20000 760 and they're coming right back on Family Feud. Hey, listen, folks, don't forget, play Family Feud on Facebook with your friends. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks. Your ass on YouTube. <laughs> your whole damn family on YouTube. Your whole damn family gonna be on YouTube. This about to be on YouTube. I'm gonna end up oh, on YouTube. Oh, my dear gracious. <laughs>